Good morning from Mpale Kocha village. This is where we spend a night. And you know what? I'm definitely gonna come back to Malawi just because I feel like I'm in a rush because I really, really want to, I mean, immerse myself in this place for a very long time. But it's just that anytime we come, we just have to wake up and continue the journey. I don't know if you guys can see right in front of me. That's like Malawi that I can see from a distance. So I'm on top of a hill. This whole Kocha village is on top of a hill. It's on top of a rock. I don't know if you, like it's built on top of a rock. So you can see that I'm currently walking on top of a rock and it's a culture village and a culture village needs to have an architecture design that looks like a village i don't know if you guys can see the touch roofing this is how a village looks like right anyone who has lived in the village knows how a village settings looks like it's exactly like how we used to live in a village but one thing that i find is so unique is that within a culture village there is a village right and what happens in the village we are displaying the, what, the life that happens in the village. The way the buildings are built, it's a proper village. Wow. So we want our visitors to experience the village life when they come to Mpale Kachua village. Where are we right now? Um, it's in this place is called now Mangochi. Mangochi? Yes. Mangochi district. The tourist district. It's, it is, is, is that any tourist destination around here that makes people come here all the time? Yeah, this is this is the place. Most of the lodges, the accommodation is cheaper here. Uh, and it's also the probably the oldest. That's where it developed first. Yeah. So since we are in the traditional tourist destination, we just have to go see the traditional way of fishing. And also, I mean, traditional way of selling fishes, right? It is what it is. So that's why we woke up so early. So currently we're on our way to um, a fishing village where fishermen that fishes on the Lake Malawi come to the shores to sell their fish. So we're just gonna see how it's done because coming from West Africa, we only see that from the ocean side of view. But this time around, we have to see how people fish on the lake, sell fishes from the lake and how people come and buy fishes at the shores of the lake. No, you know what? I, 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 I just asked a question because when I came to Malawi, I've been to the north, central, and we are at the south. Is this south? Is this place south? Southern region, yeah. Southern region. And one thing that I find in common is everyone riding a bicycle. So I decided to ask why do people ride a bicycle? And apparently there's a shocking fact that I don't even know about. <laughs> what did you just say? I said in some parts of the country, mm -hmm. especially in the south, you cannot marry if you do not have a bicycle. You need to have a bicycle. What? Before you marry. Yes, yes. It's for transport. <laughs> In case the wife is sick, how do you take her to the hospital? Yeah, yeah. So but can you use bicycle to transport someone to the hospital? Yes. Or you sit at the back? Yes. The way they do it here. Yes, yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. It's, a, it's a key transport thing. <laughs> Without a bicycle, I don't think life can stop in some parts of the country. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> You guys don't think it's interesting? <laughs> ah, look at that. You see, so right. That's how it is. The fishes from the lake is definitely the source of livelihood for people living around Lake Malawi because everywhere I go, I see people processing fish, man. I see a lot of people just everything they eat is fish. Like everything. It's like one one man one man thousand. So like fishes everywhere, like tiny fishes, you see, very tiny, very tiny. Wow, it's like the whole place, they're drying the small fishes and they're definitely going to sell it. I mean, it's so tiny. This, even the one thousand that we have in Ghana is bigger than this one. Yeah. 
From what to what? From the young age. Oh, adulthood. The adulthood. Oh, to adulthood. Yes. So where are the girls, man? They are the. Where they are being given the. What? The reason. Girls, eh? They pour water on them. <laughs> so, it's more like an initiation for younger kids. Oh, wow. There are so many traditions in Africa that when you travel, then you get a chance to see it. Because, I mean, we have something like this in Ghana, but it's not this way. In order for us to get to the beach, we had to get out of the car. And guess what? We're gonna pass through this water. So I have I want to be Moses and command the water to divide into two. <laughs> it's so cold. Yeah, but it's okay. You have to remove this. So that you can walk faster. It's the best. It's a stretch. It's really a long stretch. What's up? It's get deeper. No, no it's just deeper. Let's get deeper as we go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> ah, we are almost at the end. Almost. Ah, back, back. <laughs> Woo. They went in the lake around 3 p.m. in the afternoon. In the yesterday. afternoon? Yes. So they... they've been on the lake all night. Wow. Yeah. They st Did you sleep? They are saying they slept there. Muna go na mesmo na go. They are saying they slept on the lake. Huh. In the boat. Can you close your eyes? Muna tsega mas. What is it? Saying not not really. <laughs> they just they were just pretending to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Look, as he's helping. Wow. <laughs> you just do it with ease, man. Yes. 
Remove this one. 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 No, this way. This way. I'm sorry. This is the only thing I've never done before. I've never. <laughs> this way. Otherwise, this way the, the fish is caught. within Africa, trying different food. What's up, man? Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Where, where are we right now? We are going to the place. So the red, the red cloth that you are seeing is a sign that people should not just go there. Yes, so it's a warning. That's why they put no one can just go there. But there are people in there? There are people. The initiation ceremony is actually there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Someone is asking what kind of initiation is that? It is an initiation for boys. They are ranging from the age of um, 12 to 15, as per what the chief has said. Okay. Do you see those hats? Yeah. On the fence. So, when they are in the session here, they take them out sometimes. So they wear those. So they wear those when they are going into the village, just to celebrate. Those hats you see there. So this place is only for boys? It's just for boys, this one. Okay. But if like today they want to go and see the chief, they wear those. The guys who are being initiated, they go to the village. The village will dance. They will give them things food, money, and then they'll come back. Mm. So, this is one of the guys who are instructing the boys, right? Yeah. Muli Bangat. Muli Bangat, 17. So there are 17 boys who are being initiated. And they all are Muli Bangat. All are Muli Bangat. And there are three men who are giving instructions to the boys. Mm. Sometimes they take a month staying here. They stay here for a month? Yes. Yeah. And what did they do in here? Because they are changing from childhood to adulthood, they are given instructions on how to live in the village. If they were fighting, when they come out of here, they need to stop. They, also, they are also taught to learn to respect adults, like the chief and all the older people in the village. Yeah, oh. those are some of the things that they are taught. Yeah. Is it a particular man that they do this? Usually when they are on holiday. Yeah. Yeah. They make sure that their the ceremony or whatever the function does not coincide with the school calendar. Yeah. So school is not in session now. That's why they that's why they are doing this. So the children wow. Because I, I see them very young. Yeah. They're very young. Yeah. Um, do you have a, a, a So a, a, him is stressing that they need they want to train the children while they are still young. Yes. Oh, I can't see. One thing is the village, the, the women in the village, they bring them breakfast, they bring them lunch, and they also bring them dinner. So another th important thing that happens here is circumcision. These, these boys are circumcised. So they stay here until they are fully recovered from the circumcision. Mm. Yeah. But uh, circumcision at this age is painful. But it probably is the best age. Nah, <laughs> we do it when we're babies. When you are really, really... When you get, the when they're in the hospital, when oh, you're born, okay. they, they do that. Okay. So we grew up with it. Okay. Yeah. But even the government here is also encouraging circumcision, even for the older men. Mm. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Thank God we did it when we were kids, you know. <laughs> <laughs> like that? And then you go out? Yes. You don't um, go out just like that. You have to put on the hat that I'm wearing and then you put something on your waist 
It's the same thing. The same material. So you go out with it to show that you are in the process of being initiated to adulthood. <laughs> you done. <laughs> Is there a dance? Yeah. I'm in a different country and anytime I go to a different country I want to learn about the history and the culture of the people so it's exciting to see that I'm here to experience a typical Malari Malawian culture at first hand you know so this is from the people and you're definitely gonna have a great time man Woo. so you have to follow the line man <laughs> can I have one here I'm working in a circular shape the trees in here, nothing was cut, it blew everything around the tree. Yeah, entering the village. I wanted to knock, but there is no door to knock. You're most welcome. Thank you. Mpale Kachiro Village. Mpale Kachiro Village. So we've got the first couple here, representing oh. one of the... Um, so you can see the couple is busy. Chatting. Chatting and the... The husband is busy making a broom. So local brooms wow. are made here the way. So you can you can use the broom to sweep the house. You can see the house is oh. Oh. properly swept. Okay. The same material being used for the broom is the one that we've used the, for the mat which the couple is sitting on. Wow. Yes. So you can see the husband is skilled uh, trying to make the broom. You can make as many as you can. Wow. So this is the traditional bed. They normally use the same NASA for making these threads. Hmm. Yeah. And they put a mat on the top. That's it. Yes. Some people answer it. Is this for every Malawian those days? This is how you used to live? Those yes, those wow. days. This is for every Malawian. But, but some are still using them. Right okay, now. yeah. Good to know. Yes. And I've got also a traditional way of cooling okay. the water. Mm. You normally put it in the pots, in which are made out of the clay pots made from the soil. Mm. And uh, underneath the pot, you put the sand, sand which is being put with a little bit of water. So that the water, the water inside the pot should be cool. Mm. Yeah. It's so chilled. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh. Thank you. So from here, we're going to the mini museum. Mm. We are going to showcase some traditional things about the Yao culture. This is the museum. Mm. And there's a historical part of the Yao culture where they're coming from up until now. They actually come from Mozambique, in the eastern side of Africa, southern Africa. They came here in Malawi because of three reasons. One, because the land was very small, so people they wanted to settle in a new land. The other one is because of the war, mm. traditional wars, so they moved up. And the other is because of the hunger. Now they moved into Malawi in 1865. So that's the game called Nguri. Uh, the aim is to make sure that it's st still keeping rotating, rotating, rotating. Once it falls down, you are lost.
OK。This game called? Ha! No! Wait. Happening, man. At least I, I need to get. I need to hit one, man. Definitely need to hit one. Thank <laughs> you. 